Hi, I'm Jackson from CompNow Audiovisual. Today I'm going to show you the ZTouch whiteboarding app. So when we open up the whiteboarding app, initially we're presented with a blank canvas and you'll see your controls across the bottom of the screen. Um, what I'll do is I'll just work through from left to right and just explain what each of these buttons do. So first up, we've got the background. This allows us to pick a default background color to use um, for your whiteboarding, of course. And then the second page allows us to pick a custom background. So we can import something like a sporting background or we can import a, like a handwriting background, for example, to use. These can be changed dynamically whilst you're drawing on the board. So you're not set on one of those once you pick it. Uh, next along, we've got the pen options. So the pens have two tips, a thick and a thin end on them. And that's reflected here with a thin and a thick pen option to pick from. Of course, you can pick whatever color you like for each of those options. You can also pick line thickness. So you can pick a thicker or a thinner line across the bottom here with this slider for each of these options. Once you've picked your options, of course, you can then draw on the board. So I've got a yellow there. And if I turn it around backwards, I've got a, a pinky color. Uh, and that's pretty much the, the pen options. Next one along, we've got the quill tip option. So first thing I'm going to do is just change this to a darker color so you can see it. So the quill tip option here, what this does is it just sharpens up the end of uh, thicker lines. So great for handwriting and stuff like that. So if I do a just a, a line across the screen, you'll see the very end of that line there is kind of sharpened and that's due to this quill option being turned on. Of course, when I turn that off again and do the same line, you'll see it's quite a blocky um, line there with a pretty square end on it. Next along is our gestures and multi-touch drawing. This is a toggle switch and what this basically does is allows us to switch between the little single finger point, which is the gesture mode, and the five fingered uh, option there as well, which is the multi-touch drawing mode. I'll start with multi-touch drawing. So with that option enabled, I can draw with up to 15 points of touch simultaneously. So there's my, my 10 fingers obviously. And you can have any number of people around the board doing this as um, long as the total number of points of touch does not exceed 15. If I switch that option over from the little five fingers to the single point, we're now in gesture mode. What this allows us to do is to use two fingers on the screen to pinch to zoom, so I can pinch in and out. Three fingers on the screen will allow me to move the canvas around, so I can actually shift this entire canvas and all the drawings I've done on the canvas with that, of course. And the final one is with one finger you can draw. Moving along from there, I'll just erase the screen again. Next one along, we've got the cover option. Sorry, the, the menu pops up and we've got cover, uh, importing picture, pattern, and split screen writing. So the way this functions, if I was to draw uh, something on the screen, like a little smiley face over here, the cover option allows me to draw attention to that point of the screen. So I can basically just focus my audience on this little portion here. And that can be, of course, resized with little blue dots in the corner. So you can shift that around and get it exactly where you'd like it to be. The next option along is the importing images option. So the way this functions is if I press on this, I'm brought up with this menu where I can choose a location to import an image from. Um, if I was to plug in a USB stick into the front corner of the board down here, I could go to the USB folder, navigate through, grab an image and drop it into the whiteboard. Third along here we have the patterns. This is uh, to create shapes essentially, just a nice quick way of doing it. So first up you pick a color, so I'll pick black. I'll pick a triangle, for example, here. And I'll turn the little switch on, which allows me to actually draw these. So now with one finger, I can drag on screen a triangle or you know, an arrow or a circle or whatever you want. Um, easy as that. And then lastly, in this menu here, we have the split screen writing. This allows us to split the screen into either two or three parts and then you kind of get like a side-by-side -side whiteboard experience. So what I'll do is I'll go into the, the dual two split and you can see I've now got a side-by-side -side whiteboarding experience where it's a more simplified whiteboard. We only have the option for colors, um, but you're able to draw on both sides of the screen simultaneously if you want as well. You can actually do them both at once like that. And I can then erase one entire side of the screen at once if I want without affecting the initial side. So great in a scenario where you have uh, an equation and working for the answer or you maybe you have two people working simultaneously at the board doing completely independent things. 
Jumping back to the main screen again, next along we have the lasso tool. So the way this functions is if I was to get the pen out and just draw you know, a little face there, my lasso tool will allow me to freely circle that and either duplicate it or alternatively I can uh, raise it as well. Now something I didn't mention is the erasing. So erasing on the board, of course, you can use that lasso tool option. Of course, you can also use either the, the back and forward buttons here. So I've got the back and the forward buttons and then the full screen erase. But in addition to that, I can actually use my hand on the screen as an eraser. So when I make contact with the screen with a large surface area of my hand, typically I use kind of the pinky finger down to the bottom of the hand there. What you can do is, is bring up this tool and erase content just like that. So it's just like having an eraser on like a traditional whiteboard, but it's your hand. Um, from there, over on the very bottom right hand corner of the screen down here, we have the pages option. So I can actually scroll through and have pages added to this and you can have multiple workspaces to work between and switch back and forth between. I can close those like that as well. And lastly, down the very bottom left hand corner of the screen, we have the saving options. So the way this functions is this first guy right here is a little save disk. If I press on that, I have the option to save the, uh, what I've drawn on screen, what is currently framed in the actual boundaries of the screen. And I can save that either locally, which saves into the board's gallery application, or I can save onto a USB stick. So I can choose that option there, plug a USB down the front here, and it'll save directly to that stick into the root of the, uh, of the drive. I can choose to save the current page or all pages, of course, which is referring to these pages down, down here. And I can save as a PNG or I can save as a PDF format as well. By default, the file name is the current date and time. You, of course, can click in here and you can rename this however you like. I'll just cancel that for now. The next button along just simply hides and shows the menu bar on the bottom here. So you can just move those tools out of the way if you want just to look at the screen. And finally, we've got a menu down the bottom left here, which allows us to, of course, quit to get out, but also to export and import notes. The way this functions is it saves a local editable version of what you've been working on that you can then recall and continue working on. So I'll demonstrate that now. So again, I'll just draw a little smiley face here. And what I'm going to do is press on the export notes function. I'm brought up with the option to give it a name if I want. For right now, though, I'll just leave it as a date and time. Go OK. That is now saved. Now I can erase that off the screen. And I can then come down to my menu again and choose the import notes option. And I can then import that content back onto the, um, onto the board again. So you can see the couple of drawings here that have been pre-saved. That bottom one there is what I just did. I press on that. I press on OK my content is back again and I can continue working on that to either erase it or whatever I need to do. Finally, there's one more option down the bottom here for sharing content, which is share through QR code. The way this works is essentially it takes a capture of what you've got on the screen, either the current page or all pages and temporarily generates this QR code, which you can then point your camera from your iPad or your iPhone at. And this will allow you to grab a static image of what you've drawn, pull it straight to your device, and then from that device, you of course can either email it out, you could um, you know, message it out, or just save it for future use as well like that. And that is the whiteboarding app. Um, pretty much gone through all the features on there. Uh, any questions you have in addition, please email av at compnow.com.au. Thanks.